Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Vaughn with CCM Magazine and I am here today with Kane, the trio of brother and sisters of Madison, Taylor and Logan. Hi everyone, how are you? Hey Good. guys, great, Good. glad to be here. Good, so you've got a new album on the way and um, I can't wait to hear about that, but everybody's gonna know you from the, the song that's on the radio now called Rise Up Lazarus, which I love. I would love to hear how that song came about. Mm. Madeline okay. Taylor. Okay, I'll do it. So just to be honest, we, we had a big write with a well-known writer, so successful, and we were really intimidated to write with him. And so we come into the write and you want to bring a song idea and you want it to be perfect. And Jamie, we sat there for three hours and just nothing was coming. And so you're embarrassed. You feel like this is like just all those insecurities come to your mind. So Logan was eating like a taco out of the guy's fridge and was like, guys, I think we should just start over. And that you just never want to hear that, but he was right. And honestly, you know, when I just think God really had a song and a message that he wanted to gift to us. And it wasn't anything that we could have come up with on our own, obviously, because we just tried, but I had a voice memo on my phone that I was like, okay, here's another idea. Let's see how it goes. And before I could play it, um, our friend started singing, rise up, rise up. And that's exactly what I had on my phone from a month earlier. Wow. So, you know, it's just so cool that, okay, God's going to do what he wants to do. And we're just thankful we got to be a part of it. Yeah. What do you use as inspiration for your writing? It's, we, you know, before I start, oh, sorry, Logan, your turn. Um, well, I would say a, a myriad of things for sure. Um, personal experience, obviously, but one thing that we want to always hang our hat on is we hope that you can always go find it in scripture. I feel like it, if not every single line, certainly every song and every theme, um, we want it to be God breathed because it, then when we go and perform it, the, the pressure to feel like, Oh, here comes this killer line, or let me say something very impressive. It, we can always direct it back to the one that gave us all this in the first place. That's really important. Now you guys are out on the road now with Zach um, Williams. Is that correct? Yes. We soon. take off again in like two weeks and we're going to be with him in the spring and the fall. Okay. And I think a few dates in the summer. So basically he has asked us to move in with him. Okay. <laughs> Not a no, bad guy I, to have to move in with. <laughs> I we are really it's quite unbelievable how kind he's been to us. And um a couple months back he featured on our song Rise Up. Mm -hmm. And just to have him just to be in the studio next to him and you know, be like, okay, can you sing something a little bit like this? I would just had to pinch myself, like, how are we how does he even know us? How has he even right. heard a song? And oh my goodness, thank you for Bring in right <laughs> and, and I think too I said this once before when talking about Zach but it's so true of our industry and it makes me so proud the world would say don't meet your heroes right. but we have gotten to meet Zach and he and his entire team have just pushed and rooted for us and and prayed for us and brought us along every chance they get and it makes me like I said just so proud of Christian music that it it is a place where you can meet your heroes and they stand up to the test so I love to hear that now you have a new album that's coming out soon do we have a title for it yet <laughs> you guess it rise up okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying to own that google search you know Why what not? I'm saying <laughs> Why not? <laughs> to be fair if you google Kane right now you get number one the murderer that's the first one. It's just like a picture of someone just knocking somebody out. Um, and in then, the Bible, let's in be the clear. Bible. Okay, <laughs> yeah. in the Bible, there's also an Italian rock metal band named Kane and their hit song, Angels and Demons. So if you Google any of that and anything that sounds like that comes up, it's not us. <laughs> we are, they rise up. So, um, but we're we, thinking that it comes out in May and we're really okay. excited. All right, so that's it'll be exciting. five of the original six songs that were out. And then we've got five brand new songs that we uh, we're just jumping up and down about. We got to write with Ethan Hulse again, who we wrote Rise Up with. We got to write with Matthew West, Jonathan Smith. We got to write. We got to be in the room with people that 
just we again heroes that we looked up to that were so gracious to make time for us and I feel like you you were asking about the inspiration for music we have just had the best year of our lives while in the midst of what should have been turmoil God really just dropped such a tremendous blessing into our lives and so we were able to write from that place and so these songs I feel like are about the joy of the Lord and about God's faithfulness and about his goodness in spite of circumstance. And so I hope that you will be able to push play on the first song. And from start to finish, you'll feel like that. Oh, good. The album packaging is like pink and peach. And so I do feel like that's kind of the vibe. It's just like, (laughs) (laughs) I love that. Now as songwriters, do you have a favorite lyric or song that you've ever written? Can I share? And I know it's really your turn, but I am really excited about this. So on this album, we have the first Christian song we ever wrote together. And it's just the three of us. And in this song, we tried to take Jesus and people in the Bible, their first encounter meeting Jesus. Mm-hmm. What was it like? What did they expect him to be like? What well, you know, um, and this line, we're talking about the woman who's caught in adultery. Mm-hmm. And one line says, I thought he'd take his place in the judge's seat, but he wrote in the sand for me. And that was the time that I knew I wanted to write Christian music forever. We were all just crying, just thinking about what you imagine Jesus to be like and him being the exact opposite. It's just so cool to take mm-hmm. scripture and bring it to life. All right. How about the other two? Either one of you have one? I'll go next. Okay. Go ahead. So. This is already on the EP, but we got to write a song called The Commission. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if you've seen the TV show, The Chosen, but it really depicts the life of Jesus and his friendships with the disciples in such a great way. So we kind of leaned into that and um, we got to write a story song in a country format, which is so cool about our leader, our king, but also our closest friend and the Great Commission seems like a triumphant exit into heaven, but what if it was a really sad and emotional goodbye for Jesus? So um, I'm just, it's like an honor that we, again, God kind of gave us that idea and that we got to write it. So that's called The Commission. It's so hard to pick one of your, you know, what's your favorite, anything. What's your favorite so hard to pick. Who's your favorite? <laughs> yeah, who's your favorite kid? Um, but I guess with recency bias, um, our next single is going to be a song on our original EP called Yes, He Can. Mm-hmm. Um, and the the bridge of that song basically feels like something that our dad preached to us our whole lives. It says, I, I've seen too much and now I can't deny that he's come through every single time from the beginning until the end. He did. He will. He can. And I just feel like that to me, I don't know. I just like it makes <laughs> me really proud to write something that you could look at on paper and and feel like that's the truth so yeah okay now take that question and flip it around is there a song or a lyric that you wish you had have written that someone else beat you to it um, oh it can be any genre it doesn't have to be a christian song i always love to hear <laughs> okay well that movie did you remember that movie that came out where the beatles disappeared and this guy had to yeah, yesterday yesterday so I um it was like years ago I was just in the car and I was like you know it'd be a great movie is if you could go back in time and write all, and I was just like I should have written that movie like it came <laughs> out. um okay somebody else go first I have to think about this because we have to just slowly one up each other I have okay so um I love Ben Rector I've never I've never gotten to know him I bothered him once at a a Panera bread when I first moved to town I didn't realize that was so uncool I was like no way like Ben Rector's at Panera bread he's clearly having a meeting and I just was like hey to interrupt but something stupid probably so anyway um one of my favorite songs ever is a song that he wrote called the men who drive me places Mm -hmm. and it just it makes me cry and it just is so like such a beautiful song so I love the men who drive me places all right. I have mine, Taylor, if you're ready. If you're not. No, go ahead. Okay. Ah, all right. John Mayer wrote this song called You're Gonna Live Forever in Me. Have you heard it? Mm-hmm. 
And it's one of those things where he's building an analogy all the way and you don't find out until the third verse what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, he says, so when the pastor asks the pews for reasons he can't marry you, I'll keep my word in my seat. And it just, my, my heart, heart explodes. <laughs> it's so good. It's just like to say so much in so few words, that is the like goal in That's songwriting. It. Yeah. So good. <laughs> I, uh, um, Taylor. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Beat that, Taylor. Mine's more of just, I think it would have been cool if we could have beat Leonard Skinner to the punch for Sweet Home Alabama. That's I mean, just like, I think we would have fit the bill really well on that yeah. one. But yeah, I just wish, yeah, I kind of wish I could see what Kane would look like in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been a cool thing. I think I could hear that. <laughs> All right, we'll work up a rendition. Okay. All right. I think you should. I really do think you should. You put that at the end of your shows. Yes. Yeah. We did do a version growing up, or dad did it, but we were the choir. Uh, Sweet home up in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it was a parody number. <laughs> so we've been doing it. <laughs> we've been doing it. Hidden track on your next album. That's what. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, as we end up, or in, not end up, but actually end our interview, is there a message of hope that you'd like to leave our viewers? Who wants to go first? It seems Do you like want it from all three of us? Sure. I feel like everyone's bursting with good news. Yeah, we'll take it from everybody. I think it's really- Okay, really Logan, hope. So okay, I have mine. Um, I really do feel like this is a word from God and you can receive this or not if you hear it, but- um, I feel like the year that we've just been through really showed us how much like we've never had more access on our phones or on our TVs to godly things. And we realized how desperately we needed the local church, the local body to be together. And so I am so encouraged. I feel like when this does ultimately end, it's going to be the most expectant and the most excited year of God's people that I've experienced in my short life. So I just, my hope for everybody is that if you can hang in there just a bit longer, the day that we do get to be together, oh, what a glorious day it's going to be. So it's coming. Yes. Um, my message of hope, I don't know why I keep doing <laughs> peace. My message of hope is peace. Um, <laughs> Uh, if you, during this time, if you're kind of feeling lost or if you're in a place of transition, um, I just want to encourage you to really plug into your local church. Like Logan was saying, um, we know that our purpose is in Christ, but he made us to belong to one another. Mm -hmm. we, we, we assemble together, not just in a building, but in relationship. And if you're looking for your purpose in your life, God, he gave you a purpose, but he made it to fit in as a part of the body. So um, we're going to be going on tour, but even at, off of tour, I'm going to be the leading a small group at my house. We're going to be meet with people. And so if you're feeling any kind of disconnecting, it's, it's easier to find your place than what you think. I love that. Mine's short. Um, we, we have missed church for a little while because we've had a show every weekend, but we got to sit through a service this weekend and it's crazy how the message prepped me for what I was going to handle this week because I dealt with it directly. So I think it's just awesome that when you hear the word of God, just be obedient to it, even if you don't know what's coming ahead, because I really think he just knows what's coming up and um, he's just he's ready to prep you for it. If you'll listen. Well, guys, thanks so much, Logan, Taylor, Madison. This is Kane, everybody, and we are excited to hear the new album. And right now, you can go and listen to the EP that's out and really get a sense of their heart. And I think they're very special. So May is what we're hoping for. Hey. Hey. All right. But you can, if you check us, KaneTheBand.com is our website. Kane's Kane the Band on all social media. And we like to tell people that is directly us. We, we have a wonderful team that does a lot of things for us, but our social media is as good as a direct message to any of the three of us. So we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to connect with you guys. Thank you, Jamie and CCM. Thank you, you Jamie. You're welcome. All right. Thanks so much.